welcome back so today we will learn about um, ui engine okay uh, the reason for uh, creating a video on ui engine because a um, few people have asked me like uh, for web application to scan uh, the web application we have uh, html engine okay for pdf we have pdf engine and for windows we have winx engine and there is one a ui engine is also available so where we use the ui engine basically okay so this question i have been asked so uh, today we will see where we can in which scenario we can make use of ui engine so i will take uh, two example or two scenario you can say okay so both scenarios in both the scenarios we will use ui engine okay so the first scenario we will see like this scenario is like one of the interview questions also like how we can capture the url of the currently open tab in the browser okay so if if you take uh, if you try to scan this page you using html scan okay html engine you will be able to scan all these controls which you are seeing here but if i ask you like to scan this particular back button or reload button or this tab okay or this download button my extension button okay this controls you cannot scan using html engine okay for such controls we can use uia control uia is nothing but a ui automation engine okay which is developed by microsoft so let me quickly scan this page okay first i will show you the html scan okay then we will go for ui scan by default it will be html scan let me click okay so it will show all the controls which is available in this page except this top controls okay if i try to scan also you just see it's not highlighting anything here when i'm moving my mouse cursor to control but as soon as i am bringing it down you can see it is identifying controls okay now let's switch to ui scan so in the ui scan you can see let me highlight one by one this is minimize button restore button close button okay this is tab okay and this is address bar okay where we write our urls okay address bar this is reload button this is extension button download icon okay so with uia we can scan this controls so i want to buffer the url the current tab okay so this is the control okay i will select it and if you see the properties okay in the properties if you see this property text okay this text will be holding our url okay so we are going to use this particular property called text okay the item is unique let me save it Okay, and close it. So let me just use regular expression here. Okay, let me drag and drop, and we'll give a name as like capture the URL. So I have this control. I will use the property called text and will use URL buff. Okay, 
and give action mode as buffer. Let's quickly run this and check whether this will capture the URL correctly or not. So test case is showing as passed. Let's check the result. Buffer with name URL buff has been set to value demo webshop dot com, which is exactly we have here. Okay. Let's do one thing. Let's move to other control and see the title. Sorry, URL has changed. So let's quickly run the same scenario or same test case and see whether this time it will capture the new URL or not. Okay. So if you see buffer width, URL buff has been set to value demo website.tricentis.com slash apparel hyphen shoes and in the browser currently we have put the same url okay so this is one use of uh, ui engine okay and other scenario we will see today uh, like sometimes we will get a browser based pop-up right there are two pop-ups like uh, we get window based pop-up and browser based pop-up so if you open any um, flight application where we book the flight okay so if you open uh, a spice jet you will see one pop-up where it is asking to show the notification like allow work block so this is called a browser based pop-up okay so again if you try to scan using html scan it will not show you this pop-up you won't be able to identify but at the same time if you try with ui engine you will be able to identify and you can perform action for this pop-up so let's see the procedure will be same we have to scan it ui engine scan you can see this pop up we have this is close button this is so notification you can highlight and you can check allow block or close button so now let me select this two button okay and save it spice jet let me drag and drop this is handle handling browser browser paste pop up okay handling browser based pop up browser pop up okay so i want to just select allow okay just for example i want to allow the pop-up just to show the notification every time first i will run this let's see it clicked on allow and here you can see it was showing as allowed okay and our test case also is passed okay so this is one uh, another use of ui engine like this we have multiple scenarios where we can apply ui engine okay uh, sometimes you would have seen um, notepad okay 
in the notepad app you will see this menus right new tab edit view zoom or this option so this option as well you can scan and you can work with this controls this menu items using ui so i'll request people if you want to explore more on ui engine you can go and you can work with this text file you try to scan and select this objects okay so i wanted to tell about only these two scenarios so we have some more scenarios but if i tell everything you people will not go and try okay so better you get the idea from here and then go and try from your end okay mm, okay okay guys so that's all for uh, today's session okay